about microfinance. Take six and a half. Around the world, billions of people are living without access to the financial services that many of us take for granted. Without access to loans, savings accounts, insurance, and fund transfers, the obstacles to overcoming poverty or attaining financial stability can be insurmountable. There's a movement underway to provide better financial services to people that banks don't serve. These services are collectively called microfinance. One of the most powerful facets of microfinance is microcredit, or small loans. Microfinance institutions in many countries offer loans of a few hundred dollars at a time to people in need. Sometimes, this is all it takes to help a person become profitably self-employed. Their business can provide valuable goods and services to their community, and proceeds from their business can support them and their family and allow them to pay back their loan. Loans are also sometimes used for housing, education, or to create other opportunities for people to improve their lives. Microfinance institutions can also provide savings accounts and insurance to their clients, allowing them to manage risk more effectively. If bad weather, illness, or other unforeseen events disrupt a client's business, savings or insurance can help keep their livelihood intact. While microfinance can be very successful in combating poverty, it isn't a complete solution. Other tools, such as literacy classes, investments in infrastructure, and legal reforms are also very important. Thanks for watching this introduction to microfinance. To learn more and find out how you can help, visit www.kiva.org/about.